and got wildly different results. Fox 32's Tia Ewing reports. This is my mother, my father. Jennifer Smith says flipping through family albums helps her reconnect with the past. And I just want to learn as much as I can about my history. She recently took that learning one step further and decided to try a DNA testing kit. Ancestry.com, very popular. You know, they're in all of the commercials. Everybody talks about them. Smith received the kit, followed the directions, and mailed it back. Just like the lady on TV says, you have to spit in the tube. It's not ladylike, but that's what you do. Then she waited the four to six weeks. And I was shocked. Smith's breakdown from ancestry showed 97% European and 2% Asian. I'm a black girl. I am not a Jewish white lady. I'm, I'm black. My parents were black. She contacted Ancestry with questions, but says a rep told her the results are accurate. She told me there was no way they could have made an error. Smith decided to try again, but this time she submitted a DNA to 23andMe. And the results were very different, but they were not a surprise to me. The 23andMe findings showed 70% African for Smith after Ancestry's findings showed none. Both kids can't be right. One of them has to be wrong. The, these DNA tests for ethnicity are entertainment value only. William Gillerland is a biology professor at DePaul. He says DNA kits can be great for connecting family members and finding relatives. But the science for ethnicity testing isn't as concrete. There's nothing that confident for ethnicity. There's no diagnostic nucleotide. You can say this person is from Europe, this person is from Africa. So what happened in Smith's case? The simplest explanation is that one of these test results is just wrong, and the tubes got mixed up or contaminated or something. We reached out to both Ancestry DNA and 23andMe. Ancestry tells us it's incredibly unusual to find variations of this magnitude. The company says it's best guess that the tubes were mixed up before they were sent to their labs. 23andMe says because companies use different algorithms to make ancestry assignments, you can find differences when comparing tests from different companies. It's exciting to make discoveries like this, but if they're not true, it's heartbreaking. Tia Ewing, Fox 32 News. Hey, you see all the devils, man. They've been exposed. The DNA test for ancestry, man. It's false science. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the wellness to the elders and apostles in New York, GMS, and Sanitary to Yaakim. We're on the world teaching the truth. Shout out to you, uh, sincere, serious, uh, Akim Aqua that um, watched our videos and studied the uh, scriptures. Shout out to you.